Today, I'm going to show how to make a plasma globe from a light bulb. To make one, you will need a light bulb, one energy efficient light bulb, a line output transformer, you can purchase one in an electronics shop or just take it out from an old TV. I took my transformer from an old small TV. Its distinctive feature is its rubber suction cup that is stuck to a cathode ray tube. Then let us take the electronic circuit board out from the energy saving light bulb. Let us unwrap the wires. We don't need this part. Keep in mind what terminals the 220 volt wires are connected to. You can connect the same TV plug to it. We've done a part of the job. Now we need to connect the transformer. Let us connect it to the place the spiral lamp was connected to. Here they are. But there are four of them, whereas we need two only. We won't use the two terminals that are connected to the capacitor. We need the other two. I'm soldering the wires, but you can just wrap them. You might wonder how to connect the transformers the right way because there are so many terminals. We need to resort to the help of a multimeter. Let us apply the probes to the terminals in a random order. We need to find the terminals that are the most resistant. In my case, these are the second and the seventh terminals. The electrical resistance was 3.3 ohm. Let me solder the wires to the terminals. Now I need to connect the rubber suction cup to the light bulb and the device will be ready. You could use a bigger light bulb if you want to. How does it work? Let us consider that the energy saving light bulb electric circuit board increases the frequency of the whole circuit from 50 to a few thousand hertz. In turn, the transformer increases the voltage of the whole circuit from 220 to tens of thousands volts. Such a high voltage causes ionization of the inert gas inside the light bulb. This is where the plasma comes from. Why don't we get electric shock then? The current inside the light bulb is really low in spite of the high voltage. You need to be very careful in order not to get exposed to 220 volts. If you want to make a plasma glow better than a manufactured one, then you will need a gigantic light bulb. What's a big 1000 watt light bulb? That's cool. You could fit the circuit boards and the transformer into a shoe shine sponge container. Then you could attach a light bulb to the top of the container. Then you will get an original decorative light bulb that will serve as an adornment in your house. You could also use it as a night light or a relaxation lamp. Still, it seems to be more interesting to use it for carrying out experiments. The plasma globe can transmit electricity wirelessly. Light bulbs light up right in your hands. If you place a mosquito repellent tablet on the top of the plasma globe, you can get rid of mosquitoes. You can start fire with your finger, because you will get small sparks in between. You can also use the electricity as a musical instrument, alternating touching the plasma globe with one hand and the computer speaker plug with the other hand. What other plasma globe tricks do you know? Enjoy the heat produced by your plasma light bulb. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. In the next video, we will blow the plasma globe. I'm kidding, we won't do that. Anyway, subscribe to the channel. Let it be a fair play. We will make high quality videos. In turn, you will subscribe to the channel. Click the thumb up button and share the video. See you next time on my channel.